stunning video that rollover crash the cause tailgating so many of us have done it now ABC's Lauren Lister tells us why we should probably all give it up for good. This car caught on camera careening out of control. The horrifying high speed accident tonight, a graphic display of the dangers of tailgating. Watch again. Tailgating is also road rage. Must have some important packages in there, sir, to be dropping that close. Everyone is joining the tailgate party. Just seems like it never stops. My goodness, it seems like tailgating never ends. And I'm going pretty fast. Driving that close. Y'all gotta know each other, but I bet you don't. Watch again. The driver in the green Ford quickly reacts to avoid a mattress on the road, abruptly swerving, hitting the truck in the next lane, then those rocks on the left flipping across this Arizona interstate. The driver, 23-year-old Brianna Desaya of Texas, miraculously walks away unscathed. Her life saved because she was wearing her seatbelt. Arizona authorities say she was driving too closely to the vehicle in front of her and didn't have enough time to react to the mattress. So how long does it take to respond? So a total of about a second and a half to see something react uh, appropriately. And a second and a half doesn't sound like much. Does it really make a difference? Uh, it can. When you're traveling at high speeds, that second and a half means that you, you may have covered uh, 100 feet or so uh, in that time uh, that your brain is processing this, and that's, that's precious distance you've lost. A rule of thumb when driving on the highway, give three seconds of following distance. To measure, find a fixed object like a telephone pole. When the car in front of you passes it, count 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one, 3 -1, If you get to the marker before three, you're too close. And police telling me tailgating doesn't really save you time, that road conditions and timing of traffic lights play a much greater role.